everybody, I'm Miss Sally. Thanks for joining us again on Kids Corner for Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. Today we're at Hilltop Elementary School with the kindergarten classes for Miss Manning and Miss Zetz, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure that you stay tuned because we've got one, two, three, four seasons in store and a very fun fingerprint autumn tree project. How's everybody doing today? Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll talk about snapping fingers maybe later on mm -hmm. after we take care of our business, all right? Because we have big business today and big business is all about big seasons. Can anybody tell me how many seasons are there in a year? Let's see, way in the back. Your shirt matches my shirt today. Can you tell me how many seasons are there? That's seven. Uh oh. Okay. You've got a lot of seasons. We'll have to talk a little bit later about these other seasons you've got because I've got a number and it's a little smaller than seven. Can somebody, oh, don't yell out, don't yell out. We've got to raise our hands when we want to have a comment or answer a question, don't we? Yes, right here. Um, six. Six seasons, hmm. I think that number's still too big. Hmm, let me go over them again. Yup, that's still a little too big. Let me see somebody right here. One. One season? Oh my goodness, I think that one's too small. Let me see. Okay, let me, let me help you guys out. Well, I'll take one more guess. You right there with the pink shirt. <gasps> Ding, 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 she got it right. Everybody give her, look, this is a, nope, nope, nope. This is a tiny hand. Everybody give her a tiny hand. Excellent job, good job answering that. There are four seasons. There is winter, there is spring, there is summer, and there is autumn and fall. So, there are four of them. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Can everybody say winter? Winter. Spring? Spring. Summer? Summer. And fall. Fall. And that makes four. So, can somebody tell me something that they like to do during the winter? If I've called on you already, can you lower your hand so I can give one of my other friends a chance? Right here. Um, play in the snow. Play in the snow. That is an awesome, wintry, wonderful thing to do. How about you right here with the blue shirt? Eat the snow. Eat the snow. Yummy, Make yummy. sure it's the white snow. You right there with the purple bow in your hair. What's something else besides play in the snow and eat the snow that you like to do during the winter? Snowball fights. Snowball fights. I like snowball yeah. fights too. How about you with the red shirt? Yes, I am. It's orange, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks a little reddish orange to oh, me. So, Oh, okay. So it's kind of reddish orange. Go ahead. Tell me. Um, throw ice at trees. Throw ice at trees. That's different. That's a new game. I might have to try that and see if I like it. Um, you with the rainbow on your shirt. I want chocolate. You want cho hot chocolate? During the winter? Yep, that's another wintry fun thing. You right here with the brown, I think, and the stripes on it? Yep. What do you like to do during the winter? Uh, Bye. Uh, how is snowball We did that over. I mean, we talked about that. Uh, also, my favorite part is snowball. How about sledding? Does anybody like to go sledding? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. No. Okay. Let's. What do you guys like to do in the spring? Okay, hold on. If I've called on you already, please put your hand down so I can give another friend a chance. All right, you right here with the smiley face on your shirt. Jump it in the spring? Don't jump. Hmm, let's think about that. Spring is when everything with the snow starts to come back out because all the snow melts and so we can see the trees and things start to get green again and the trees start to get new leaves and then it starts to get really rainy outside so that things can grow later on and during the summer. So what do we like to do during the spring once it finally starts warming up from winter? You right here with the Minnie Mouse shirt. Um, 
play outside. Play outside because it's been cold and it's not so much fun sometimes because it's, sometimes it's too cold, right? And we can't play outside very long. So during the spring, we can start to play outside for a long time. You with the sweater. Jumping in the leaves. Well, leaves, I don't know if there's a whole, whole lot of leaves during the springtime because they're usually coming back out on the trees and they're green, so they're still stuck on the trees. All right, hold your questions for another second because I have another question. What about summer? What do you guys like to do during the summer? You with the glasses right there. You like to play tag during the summer. You with the gray shirt. Um, go swimming. You like to go swimming during the summer. I like to go swimming during the summer too. You right here. Did I, wait, I called on you already. So I'm gonna give somebody else a chance. You right here with the elephant on your shirt. Play with your friends. Okay, you right here with the glasses. How about you? What do you like to do during the summer? Tag. Play tag, I think somebody said that. So let's hear something new. You right here. Okay. Go swimming. I think somebody else said that too. Does anybody go to the beach during the summer? Or the lake during the summer? How about, how about in the spring and the summer we can have picnics and things like that, right? And family gatherings outside. We can do lots of things outside. And that takes us to autumn and fall. Okay, so now, right now, outside, it has been autumn and fall. During autumn and fall, we have lots of things that happen to our trees. Can somebody tell me something that happens during autumn and fall? Okay, now it's your turn with the blue stripes. Well, well, you get to jump in the leaves at fall. Yep, you get to jump in the leaves. Why do we get to jump in the leaves? What has happened to the leaves during fall? You right here. Um, to get to, um, when? What happens to the leaves on the trees during fall? They're falling down. They fall down, but something else happens before they fall. You with the black shirt in the back. Um, um, jumping them and, um, and breaking them. Do they, oh yeah. That's a good one. During the fall and autumn time, did you guys know that fall and autumn are the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so during the fall and autumn time, we have to rake a lot of leaves because they fall all off the trees. But before they fall all off the trees, they do something very, very special that we get to see. You right here with the gray sweatshirt, yep. Uh, they change colors. They do. They change colors and they change to all sorts of beautiful, beautiful colors, don't they? Can somebody tell me a color that leaves change to? Somebody I haven't heard from yet. So, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna keep track. I'm gonna try and keep track. So if I've called on you, put your hand down, please. All right, you back there with the pink bow. What color, oh, you've got a red bow. You with the pink bow. What color do leaves change? Give me one color. Red. How about you with the red bow? What color? Green. green. They get a lighter color of green. Um, I think I called on you with the smiley face. How about you? Did I call on you with the gray shirt too? And I think I called on you too. How about you with the C, the Cleveland shirt? Green um, and yellow. Yellow is another color they turn. You with the black shirt? Purple. Purplish, yep. How about you right here with the uh, unicorns on your shirt? Orange. There's another color I can think of that I know they turned. Way in the back with the white shirt. Brown. Brown. And then in between colors, they turn lots of colors too. So there's some that are really, really dark orange and some that are almost peach and some that are really, really red and some that are almost pink. And then there are some that are really, really light brown, almost like beige, right? And there's some that almost look bluish. Yep, that's true. So we are going to do a little bit of story time now. And we're gonna think about and learn about every season. We've talked about every season, huh? We said winter, we said spring, we said summer, and we said autumn, fall, right? That's all four seasons. So let's count them down as we 
go through every season. You guys ready? No. Oh, no. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. This is by Shelley Rotner and Ann Love Woodhull, and it's called Every Season. Speckled eggs fill woven nests. Showers soak. S seeds sprout. Flowers bloom. Everybody know that speckled means it's got a bunch of little spots all over it? Okay. And does everybody know what the word sprout means? It means it comes out. It's a new little plant and it comes out of the ground, right? And flowers bloom. Do you know what bloom means? Yeah. It means the flowers start to open up. After they come out and sprout, they grow beautiful flowers and then they open up and bloom for us. And then things smell really, really nice in the springtime. I think we're talking about springtime here. Who agrees? Give me a thumb up if you agree that this might be spring. All right, let's see. Crocuses pop, daffodils open, then lilacs spread their sweet smell. Does anybody ever, uh, has anybody ever smelled the blossoms off of a tree after they bloom in the springtime and they smell really, really pretty when you pass them by? Me too, I like that. Okay, salamanders slither out from under mossy rocks. Ducklings follow all in a row. We hold rabbits, lambs, puppies, and chicks. Spring is the time to dig and plant. But then summer comes and... I love summer too. The sun shines strong and hot. You can wear a straw hat or go barefoot in the grass. Anybody ever go barefoot in the grass? That's nice to do. Can we do that during the winter? Mm -mm. That'd be a bad idea. And most of the time when it's covered with snow, you won't see any grass anyways, right? Bees sip, frogs hop, butterflies flutter and land. We taste strawberries, lemonade, watermelon, and ice cream. Anybody like tasting those things during summertime? Me too. Shorebirds scurry and peck. I hear the roar of ocean waves. Summer is the time to splash and swim, and we had some friends tell us they like to go to the beach. Some of you, right? And some of you like to go swimming during the summer. But then, <gasps> autumn comes. So we've done spring, we've done summer, and now we're at autumn. So we're three down. How many more after we've got three do we have before we get to four? Can somebody raise their hand and tell me? Somebody I haven't called on yet, who hasn't had a chance, I think you didn't have a chance. Can you tell me if I have three, how many more do I need before I can get to four? One more. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. Give him a tiny hand. Two. Tiny hand, good job. One more makes four. Hey, that rhymed. One. When we're at three, Two. open the door, and one more gives us four. Mm -hmm. All right. I love autumn too. Wind whips, seeds scatter. We pull up our hoods and zip up our jackets. Leaves turn and fall. We talked about that. They turn colors, right? And then they fall and they get all crunchy and we can jump in them. But first, they turn colors because it starts to get colder and that makes them start to turn colors. Orange, maple, red, oak, yellow, ash. They're talking about different kinds of trees there. 
We pick pumpkins, taste apples, pears, and pies. Yum. Geese honk and head south. Does anybody know that geese head south for the winter when it gets cold? Especially when they're already like kind of in a cold place like we have around our area here in Ohio. It gets cold so the geese, they head down south to warmer weather because they don't like the cold so much. Geese honk and head south. Chipmunks store acorns in a secret spot. Did you guys know that squirrels and chipmunks store up nuts and things for the winter? Because they don't want to go out in the snow and try and find their food, so they have to store up food. Do you know what storing something means? What does it mean to store something? Somebody I haven't heard from, please. You with the shirt with the checkers in the back. Yep, mm-hmm. What does it mean to store something? Away. You so you put things away. You put them away somewhere. So if I'm storing my clothes in the closet, that means I put them away in the closet, right? If I'm storing my food in my kitchen, where do I usually store my food in the kitchen? In. Somebody said it in the back. There's one place, the refrigerator. Where's another place? The we open the freezer or we open and close our cupboards we can store food up there right so we store food kind of just like chipmunks and squirrels but not the same way because we don't necessarily not go out during the winter and get more food right so all right autumn is the time to rake and jump we talked about that too jumping in leaves didn't we but then winter comes and <gasps> that's our last season, number four. I love winter too. The cold brings icicles and snowflakes that swirl. We make snow angels, then sip hot chocolate. Mmm. Horses grow thick coats to keep them warm. Chickadees search for seeds. Does everybody see that? Snow blankets, branches, and buds. When you blanket something, it means you cover it. Animals leave their tracks. Everybody, anybody ever seen animal tracks in the snow? Even kitty cats or puppy tracks? We wear hats, mittens, scarves, and skates. Do we have to wear scarves and hats and mittens during the summer? No. Winter is the time to coast and slide. We might wear a coat during the summer sometimes, because sometimes it might get a little chilly, but we don't really have to wear snow stuff most of the time, right? Winter is the time to coast, and they mean kind of slide and glide and move on the uh, ice in a sled but then spring time comes and i love spring and we're back where we started aren't we did anybody like that story yeah i like that story too I like ice cream. do you okay so we have a very fun autumn time fingerprint surprise is everybody ready yeah. All right. I am going to take one hand, just one hand, and I am going to smoosh it into the paint, and then I'm going to make sure that I go like this and get paint all over my one hand. And there should be enough paint for two people or if you have your own, because you're a little further than everybody else, from anyone else, then you can use your own. Everyone should have one hand full of paint like this, looks a little muddy or chocolatey, right? Okay, so you're gonna now, your paper is on your desk and you are going to take it and you are going to firmly 
go like this. Keep your fingers open like this and then just stick it on your paper and don't smoosh it around. Just stick it on your paper and leave it there and press down a little bit. And we're gonna press, so go ahead and put it on your paper and press down, press down, press down. Don't move around, don't move around. And now lift it up, oops, and try not to fling paint all over the place like I just did. We have cleaned up just a little bit. Not perfect, but doesn't need to be because we still got more fun in our paint to go. So now, each of you should see, like I said, you have colors of paint in front of you. Now what I did is this. I took my four fingers and I picked four colors and I started with those. So I stuck my fingers in four colors and then I began to make fingerprints in different places on my paper and you're just gonna fill your paper up because what we're doing is you're adding autumn leaves to your trees and I want some orange now so I'm gonna take a, a finger maybe with brown and stick it in the orange and then I'm gonna make some orange spots in there too and I'm just gonna keep doing that with my fingers in different colors of paint. And that is how we dab our fingerprints all the way into a beautiful autumn tree.
everybody. I'm Miss Aline. Thanks again for joining us on Kids Corner Armstrong Cable Channels 20 and 100. Today we've been at Hilltop Elementary with Miss Manning and Miss Zett's kindergarten class, and we've had a lot of four seasons fun. One, two, three, four. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. And we have done lots of fun things with our hand and fingerprints dabbing our way to a beautiful autumn tree. So until next time, we say goodbye. goodbye.